Australian TV host Fiona MacDonald announced her death in an Instagram statement posted by her sister on Thursday, October 3rd. Australian TV presenter Fiona MacDonald has announced her own death at age 67 almost three years after being diagnosed with motor neurone disease, MND. On Thursday, October 3rd, an Instagram post written by the former It's a Knockout Game show host, and shared by her sister Kylie, confirmed she died the night before. Farewell my friends. My sister Kylie is posting this because I have left the building, hopefully I'm looking down from a cloud, the post read. Last night brought an end to a very tough few months. Was very peaceful the boys, sons Harry and Rafe, and Kylie stayed with me to say goodbye. While I've never wanted to die, the thought of leaving my tortured body was a relief, the message, which was shared alongside two family photographs, added. McDonald continued, the last few months have been tough. Unable to swallow normal food, the tube feeding that should have sustained me didn't work because my gut couldn't tolerate any of the multiple brands of protein drinks. It went straight in and straight out. The TV personality, best known for starring on the Australian children's TV series Wombat between 1983 and 1984, as well as being the host of It's a Knockout between 1985 to 1987, explained how she'd been slowly starving and growing weaker and weaker following the diagnosis. I've also developed terrible back pain because my muscles aren't supporting my frame, she explained. The black humor that served me well through the first years of this journey turned to despair. I made the decision after much soul searching to cease all medical supports and finally go into hospital for end of life palliative care. When you love life as much as I do, it takes a great deal of courage to make choices that lead to farewell, McDonald continued. She wrote, so let's not call it goodbye as I hope to see you again on the other side. Until then, May the wind be always at your back, may the sun shine warm upon your face, may the rain fall softly upon your fields until we meet again, and may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. I carry your love and laughter with me and hope you'll remember mine, MacDonald concluded. Per the MND Association website, the disease affects the nerves known as motor neurons. These nerves are found in the brain and spinal cord and they help tell your muscles what to do. The late star is survived by her two sons Harry and Rafe, as well as sisters Kylie and Jackie MacDonald. The latter was also a former TV host on shows including Hey Hey It's Saturday. MacDonald devoted her time to raising money to help find a cure for the disease after being diagnosed in 2021. On her I am making a difference fundraising page, she explained that, along with family and friends, she'd managed to raise over 223,000 Australian dollars, almost 153,000 US dollars, after completing multiple challenges. All funds raised go directly to Macquarie University Research and Trials to find a cure for M&D, McDonald wrote in the description, explaining how she'd started her big lap challenge with a 15,500 km drive around Australia. McDonald recently spoke about her M&D diagnosis and how she'd been driving around Australia to raise money to help fund research on a 2023 episode of Australian Story, titled The Big Lap, Fiona MacDonald. For the Australia Broadcasting Corporation, MacDonald, who grew up in the outback of Queensland, used a computerized voice to communicate before her death. Stealing the power of all muscles inch by inch until you can't walk, can't hold hands, can't talk, swallow or breathe, she said of the diagnosis on the moving episode. Then you die. There is no treatment, no cure, MacDonald added at the time, according to the ABC.